Is newer better? Let's find out as we dig into the differences between Noctua NHD15 G2 versus the first generation Noctua NHD15. In this video, we'll cover the key differences between these coolers and then jump into the performance. This video has three giveaway entry codes, so save the links in the description below for more details on the monthly giveaway. These two high-performing coolers both feature dual towers and are quite large. Second generation features slight differences between the towers and the fans with the first tower being slightly smaller than the second. Additionally, the fans are designed to have slightly different RPM speeds to improve performance, but let's see if this really helps. In regards to insulation, they both feature the same installation process. However, the NHD15 G2 has an offsetting bracket for the AM5 CPUs for improved performance. If you want more insight into the installation process on the G2, check out the video above. We know you're here to see how these two coolers differ in terms of performance, so let's dive into it. We've tested both of these coolers over idle high and overclock temperatures and have two sets of charts to show you. One that looks at performance normalized by percent speeds and one that looks at performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the saw line, noise on the right represented by the dash line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Noctua NHD15 G2 in blue has slightly better performance across the board relative to the first generation, or G1, in red. As we increase the watts to 105, we can observe that this gap narrows across the board. Additionally, the Noctua G2 is noticeably louder after 60% fan speed. When we push the CPU to overclock levels of 130 watts, we can see that this trend holds. Given the noise differences, let's see how they do on noise normalized graphs. But don't forget to hit that like button or subscribe if you enjoyed this content. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, the G2 has a slight advantage across all noise levels. And when we increase the watts to 105, we can see that this gap narrows, with similar performance observed across comparable noise levels. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this relationship continues. And if you're curious on how the Noctua NHD15 compares to another top cooler, the Thermorite Peerless Assassin, you should check out this video comparing these two.